From suing a school to being kicked out by security, let's see what makes these entitled parents tick. Get it right the first time, okay? been on YouTube in the last month, there's this big trend going around right now known as r slash entitled parents. Back with episode 51 of our Reddit series, this is some more entitled parents. And welcome to r slash entitled parents. It's basically a bunch of stories of entitled parents. And if you do not know what an entitled parent is, here's a little skit to help you learn. Hi, uh, ex excuse me, sir. My son, he's very tired. He needs a place to sit, okay? Could you give him your seat? Sorry Matt, it four years ago I was in a car crash that destroyed every part of my body. Now I speak through a machine attached directly to my brain. I can't move any of my muscles, because they were shredded by the shrapnel. Now I require this chair to live. My son doesn't like vegetables or waiting. Why has God forsaken me? Can you leave? My daughter can count like this and- YOU CAN'T DO SHIT! Wow. Truly inspiring. So this isn't my story, but I heard a teacher once say it, and also it is short. And plus, this is on a phone. Incredible. Why does that matter to you? EM is entitled mom, and T is teacher. Once, a teacher was doing tests with first graders on math. It was like in the middle of the school year, so the entitled mother's daughter Quite some errors, like 2 plus 2 equals 22. But why? Why would you do that? Why would you do any of that? So, she got an F. The entitled mother visibly wasn't happy with that, and went to the teacher. And here comes the conversation. This, this is gonna be CANCER! Entitled mother. Why did my daughter get an F on the test? The teacher showed her the paper. I don't see anything wrong with that! teacher. She clearly didn't count properly. She is supposed to answer correctly. For instance, 3 plus 4 isn't 34, but 7. She should know that. Entitled mother. I'm gonna get you fired for this! What's that? You actually know what you're talking about? You're gonna get fired! Teacher. But that's how it works in the school. Hi there. Uh, I just have one question. Are you telling me that there's education in the education system? Yes. WHAT THE FUCK?! Entitled mother, YOU'LL REGRET THIS! A few days later, the mother sued the school. She didn't win. Could you imagine getting fired over knowing what you're talking about? We cannot have people learning logic anymore. We need to teach these kids that vaccines hurt people, that the world is flat. All right, so this time I'm actually going to try to use my regular microphone, but who knows if that's going to work because I don't know if I'll be able to line up the audio in the video, but we'll try. We'll attempt it. This next story is called EM Interrupts Debate Because I'm an Atheist Gets Disqualified. This is posted by Jack the Ferret. EM is entitled Mother, EG is entitled Girl, M is me, F is my friend slash debate partner, and NJ is nice judge. So me and F were on our way to our third debate, out of four, and we were looking for the room. We had never been in the building, so we decided to ask an entitled girl, who seemed to know their way around. Big mistake. Hi, do you know where the room, room number is? Entitled girl, oh yeah, that is in the second building, that way. Friend, Jesus, that is far. It's gonna be late. Entitled girl, don't use the Lord's name in vain. Oh my god, I just realized how loud that is picking up on the microphone. I am so sorry for your ears. Uh-oh. 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 I used the Lord's name in vain. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. Entitled Girl's gonna be angry with me. Sorry. We are atheists, but sometimes we accidentally let it slip. Big mistake number two. Oh, you're just hitting these right home, aren't you, buddy? Entitled Girl looks at us weirdly and then walks off. Around 20 minutes later, we are in a debate, and we are making our speech. All of a sudden, we hear a knock on the door and see a woman there. Jay, what is it, ma'am? These kids are in the middle of a debate. Entitled Mum, these boys infected my daughter with their unholy atheism. At this point, me and F start realizing what she is talking about. NJ, do you guys know what she's talking about? Me, 
Well, yeah, we accidentally said Jesus in vain. We apologized. E.M. Lies! They tried to spread the word of devil and turn my daughter into a Satanist! Yo, like, let's just all be Satanists then. Me. Um, we never did anything like that. Can we please get back to our debate? NJ. Ma'am, I'm gonna have to ask you to leave the room so they can continue. I refuse to move until these boys are disqualified. NJ calls security, and they have to drag her off while she calls us hell spawn and heathens, etc. <laughs> You're a hell spawn. You're probably vaccinated. Never saw her or EG again, and we ended up winning four to zero. So yay! Thanks for reading. Edit. Thank everyone for the support. Really appreciate it. Ma'am, can I please have my chair back? Veggie Tales, if I had to address you one more time, that, that is an entitled parent. Subscribe to this channel.